Hi guys, welcome to Japanese Easy Study Channel. Today we are going to learn about the grammar or bubo in Japanese JLPT N2. What we say in Japanese Nihongo no Reku Shiken ni Kyu. So the next, let's go to see the detail of this lesson in this video clip. The first, we are going to learn about the grammar of Bakalida. The grammar of Bakalida has the meaning of continue to go in negative direction, which means we will use the grammar of Bakalida when the uh, negative situation happens. Or a bad situation happen, do you use the grammar of Bakari to help explain the situation? So the next how to use Bakari da in Japanese they use the verb in dictionary form with Bakari da. So when you want to use the grammar of Bakarida to explain the bad situation or the situation that go in negative direction, you should use the dictionary form of verb and followed by Bakarida. So to do more understand about how to use the grammar of Bakarida. Let's go to see some example together. The first example. Ano futari no kanke wa warui bakari da. Ano futari no kanke wa warui bakari da. Which means their relationship just keeps getting worse. Their relationship just keeps getting worse. The next example. Undo o shite nai no de tairuku wa uchiru bakari da. Undo o shite nai no de tairuku wa uchiru bakari da. Which means I'm not working out and so my stamina keeps getting worse. I'm not working out and so my stamina keeps getting worse. So we will see about these two sentences that for the first sentence, they use the bakery to explain the relationship between two people that go in negative direction because worse is mean bad, right? So, warui, warui means being bad. So, this, this situation is in the ne ne negative direction. So, we can use bad, bakalita, to explain in Japanese. For the second sentence, we will see that uh, you don't exercise, so your weight is getting, so you have no energy. Right, so you have no energy, or you lost your energy, you have no strong, so that means you lost your power. That means it's in negative direction, so you can use the bakari to help explain the situation that go in negative direction. So let's see the next example. Nihon no chinko wa heru bakari desu. Nihon no chinko wa heru bakari desu. Which means Japan's population keeps continuing to decrease. Japan's population keeps continuing to decrease. 
子供が成長すると教育費が増えるばかりだ。子供が成長すると教育費が増えるばかりだ。Which means as children grow older, the education costs just keep going up. As children grow older, the education costs just keep going up. The next, we are going to learn about the grammar of Bakari Ka. Before Bakari Ka, we learn about Bakari Da or Bakari Des, right? But here, now we are going to learn about Bakari Ka. The grammar of Bakari Ka is has the meaning of not only dot dot but. Also, the meaning like this, or is mean as well as. So when you translate to English, you have two meanings. You can translate first way is not only the dot but also, or you can translate in another way as well as. So the next, how to use the bakari ka? The bakari ka they use with the verb kashua. Now, e h t or n na h t. You can use four time with the bakari ka verb in kashua form or now or e h t or na h t. So the next, we are going to see some sample of how to use the grammar of Bakarika. What I would like you to notice that when we talk about Bakarika, is not we use in the negative direction, not positive. So please really remember that when we say about Bakarika, it means In the negative direction. To explain the situation that happened in the negative direction, the first example. この mansion は狭いばかりか。暗いです。この mansion は狭いばかりか。暗いです。Which means this apartment is not only very small. Is also quite dark. This apartment is not only very small. Is also quite dark. The next example. Chōō wa uskushi bakari ka kokoro mo yasashi katta. Chōō wa uskushi bakari ka. Which means the queen was not only beautiful, but she had a kind heart as well. The queen was not only beautiful, but she had a kind heart as well. You will see that for the first sentence, we use the bakalika to explain about the negative direction because. Semi is not mean small, not big, and is also dark. So you can use the grammar of Bakarika to help explain. But the second sentence we use that is not the、uh, negative direction. But you can also use with the、uh, positive direction. You see here, and the queen. It's not only beautiful, but she had a kind heart as well. So we can use in negative and in direct, in positive direction or positive situation that happen. The next, 
彼は試験に合格したばかりか、昇格金までもらった。彼は試験に合格したばかりか、昇格金までもらった。This means not only did he pass the exam, he got a scholarship. Not only did he pass the exam, he got a scholarship. ルネイセンボうちの子は7歳なのに日本語ばかりか英語まで喋れるよ。うちの子は7歳なのに日本語ばかりか英語まで喋れるよ。I thought our child is only seven. They can speak not only Japanese but English as well. Although our child is only seven, they can speak not only Japanese but English as well. The next, we are going to learn about the grammar of Bakali ni. The, uh, as we have learned two about Bakali, the first is Bakali da. And the second is Bakali Ka. And the third, here right now, we are going to learn about the Bakali Ni. So, in this lesson, we just learn about only Bakali grammar. So, you have to remember. The grammar of Bakali Ni is mean simply because. Or on account of negative result, which means we will use with the negative result. So when you explain about negative result, you can use the Bakali need to help you explain in Japanese language. So how to use the grammar of Bakali need? The grammar of Bakalini, they will use the verb kashua form noun, e adjective, and na adjective with Bakalini. And here is what you have to remember for how to use and the meaning of the Bakalini. The most important thing I want you to remember is we will use. The Bakalini in the negative result or direction. The next we are going to see some sample. The first sample. Okane ga nai Bakalini kondo no ryoko ni ikenakatta. Okane ga nai Bakalini kondo no ryoko ni Ikenakata, which means I wasn't able to go on this trip since I don't have any money. I wasn't able to go on this trip since I don't have any money. The next example, Keken ga nai bakari ni kuroshita. 経験がないばかりに苦労した。which mean I suffer since I lack my experience. I suffer since I lack my experience. You see that for the first sentence, they will use the、uh, ばかりに to explain that they don't have money, so they cannot go to Overseas to for trip. So here, if you cannot go to to play or to tour in another country, that means is not is the、uh, negative, right? So you are not happy. So you can use Bakalini to explain. 
for the second sentence, we'll see that uh, because you don't have experience, so you are very hard to work. So they use the grammar of Bakalini to explain. Which means because you don't have experience, so you are really hard to work, hard to understand, right? So it is is uh, when you don't have experience, that means you it's not good for you. So you should have experience to make to work easy. So this means negative for you. So you can use the Bakali need to explain this situation. Let's see the next example. Kare no hitokoto o shinjita bakari ni hidoi me ni atta. Kare no hitokoto o shinjita bakari ni hidoi me ni atta. Which means I had a horrible experience or because I believe what he said. I had a horrible experience or because I believe what he said. The next example Gai Kokushin de Ari Bakari ni Apato Sagashi ni wa Kuroshita. Gai Kokushin de Ari Bakari ni Apato Sagashi ni wa Kuroshita. Which means I had a really hard time finding a new apartment just because I am a foreigner. I had a really hard time finding a new apartment just because I am a foreigner. In here you will see that for the second sentence that means you 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 are really hard to find an apartment because you are a foreigner. So that is really easy reason easy simple and it's the negative for you because it's hard to find a apartment because you are foreigner so you can use the bakari need to help you to explain the situation thank you very much for watching my video clip and please help me subscribe my channel if you haven't and I hope to share my Japanese language class about JLPT and 2 grammar with you with the next time. Arigatou gozaimashita.